Hi guys. Well, if you're new here and didn't see the last movie, I did uh, not really a review, just showing how these things are gonna probably make my life, I'm hoping, easier. This was the maiden voyage on these bags. This is old crate, boom, boom, boom. I went through it all in the last video. Um, made the elevator, came up, dropped the slab wood in there. If you need those bags or are interested in those bags, stop up by Shaver Equipment. Talk to AJ. And this is uh, just putting slab wood in there. I didn't like dedicating those nice crates to it. In fact, I'll probably take all that poplar out and throw it in one of these bags because it's just um, the way I am. I don't like dedicating those to it. Anyhow, this is a machine that cut them up, but that's not why we're here today. And I got some more of this crap from over the other side. I'm going to cut that up. Uh, not on camera. What we're going to do, oh, is forget the uh, tripod. That's what we're going to forget to do. Oh, these are trims. I cut these up for um, uh, kindling. And sometimes I sell kindling. Sometimes I just give it away to friends and neighbors and people that say, oh, man, I always have a hard time. Just um, like Christmas presents more than anything. I didn't cut up all my slab wood because I like to keep some on top for weight. You need weight to hold hold them down and I don't really know what that is down there that might be slab I kind of there's a board down there looks pretty decent I don't know anyhow what we're doing uh, if you were in a couple nights ago I cut uh, you guys are gonna get really dizzy here boom I cut these beams out of here they are I don't have my measuring stick but I'll see if I can locate one. Oh, it's all the way over the other side that's the way it is Let's see, they are big, 15 inches by three and a half inches. So I'd like to get two more, they don't need to be 15, I could cut them down a little bit. Um, but they look pretty neat that big. So that'll be a, be a decision later on, it ain't gonna be today. I'd like to get, I wanna get that off the sawmill, rain's coming in in a few days I guess. And uh, gotta get everything, uh, covered back up and ready to go. So I'm gonna take a clean cut off of that, a heavy clean cut off of that. I'm gonna measure how wide it is and then flip it over depending on how much um, bark, wane, whatever you wanna call on there. Cause I started getting into the heart onto that a little bit. And for what I'm doing, it really doesn't make much difference, but the cleaner you can get it, the, the better it is. So I'm going to um, take, a, take a face cut off of it to make sure it's halfway square because it's been a day so it's probably gone gone a little crazy and then I'm going to flip it and see how much wane I got in there and I might just take it down to three and a half and cut it and I don't know what's going on yet you never know until you start the show put your ears on we're about ready to make some noise
rim on that one.
I got a call in the middle of that. Somehow people always know to call. I probably don't get one or two calls a week. But if I'm on a sawmill, I get a call. Murphy shows up when you least expect it. That one's a, um, these are, I forget what they were. That's a 15. This one I cut down to 12, which is fine. It's got a little bit of wane. I don't know why they call it wane, but that'll be fine for what, what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm just giving these away and hopefully the guy will like them. I'll find out later. <laughs> he doesn't even know about it, but um might not be able to use them he can turn them into beams he can do whatever he wants with them by the time i haul them up to his place so i think he'd be happy with them anyhow that's kind of it i have some more cleanup to do that i'm gonna work on i got um some of that stuff over there i got to clean up on i'll probably i don't know what i'll do with it I'll probably just cut it up and throw it in that bag and um glad you came along hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I'm going to go back to finishing this mess up here. I'm going to stack. I guess while you're here, I'll see if I can't stack that big one up on this, uh, up on this here. Where the other ones are stacked is what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how to say it. Let's see. We'll get that in there. Get that in there. These are right heavy. Heavier than I feel like tackling with, but um, let's see what we can do here. Uh oh, that one came off down there. Well, you don't always get what you want. Maybe they'll come up. Yeah, it's coming. The old man can't pull, pick that kind of stuff up like he used to. That one just slipped that down down there, isn't it? Where am I at? I'm at six inches, five inches, four inches. I'm just kind of pushing it over now. That ain't too bad. Look at that. The old man did it by himself. Now we're going to roll down and you're going to watch me lug it again. I guess you'll, I'll let you watch me lug it from the other side. I did sticker it. I don't know. I guess we'll put you right about in my face. I think you might be able to see the crash here. If it doesn't land on my foot, I'm all right. I just kind of don't want it to land on my foot. They'll just get knocked out anyway. The reason I put those on there is so you can grab your fingers underneath of them. Underneath the boards, logs, timbers, whatever you want to call these. And they're not all that heavy. Well, they're not all that light either. I didn't leave my finger hole on that one, did I? There, I got something. Now, down to this other end. Here's what I'm going to do. Stick A. I want to... Put that under there, raise that up, and put two of them under there. And this one will go in there. This one will go in there. This one will go in somewhere around here. I should have had one at the end. Oh, I do have one at the end. Huh. I don't know where I got them. Tight. One there, 
There should be one here. Uh, I got it all discombobulated. Then get yourself another board. Another little stick. Raise that up, take that out. Good to go. Then come down here and pound this in. Now I only got one more to go. So I gotta give me five. <laughs> That's got a bow to it, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. Should have put the bow down, but that's the way it is. Let me find some more, some more stickers. These are little ones. Yeah, that's too thin. That could be my jack up one. That looks the same. Red paint, so it probably is. That one's too small. Those ones with the red paint seem to be the ticket. Alright, let's see if I can get that one up. That one's getting kind of getting kind of down there. This might be a good crash here. one's got so much bow to it. This might be a crash, guys. This might be a crash. Yeah, this one here don't want to... Well, with that one being a bow, it's moving all over the place. <laughs> this might not happen. This one here is the problem one here because it's got a stupid bow in it. Let's see how it's, it's pivoting in the center. They uh, kind of bow when they want a bow. You ain't got much power over them either. Now that was a boom. Did you hear the echo? That was pretty good boom. You still got to jack it up. That thing's being a problem, problem child, isn't it? It's still got it. It's bowing the other way now, but it's tighter. That thing's moving around all over the place. Well, let's see what we got now. Ah, it wants to go off the end of the rack. Oh, I didn't leave my finger hole. Anyhow, that's. That's up the place. I'm just going to put some stickers under it and we didn't have too bad of a crash. So, old man's out of breath. There's my four timbers. Appreciate you coming along. That's what goes on down here. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, or run away. And if you didn't like it, send it to somebody you don't like to annoy them too. Haven't said that in a long time. Anybody remember that one? We'll see you later now. Bye-bye.